guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and welcome to our autism journey today is a little different from our other vlogs we're going out in public i am nervous we're going to a play place for the first time ever um i'm super anxious super nervous um if she gets overstimulated that's fine we'll just leave but i'm ready i'm kind of nervous i feel like it's the first day of school hopefully she likes it um so i'm gonna get some clips in there i'm gonna do an update on aba therapy we are almost there but we'll talk about that in a little bit and also i want to change her diet um they say gluten-free dairy-free sugar-free helps with the development of the brain and all that great stuff so i am going to be trying some new things for mila and she will be on a gluten dairy sugar-free diet um she doesn't really love sugar now in general but if she is a kid so if she wants to have something with sugar and try it she can do that um and yeah and then um my niece is coming over so you will see her interaction with other kids and i think that is it so stay tuned and welcome to our autism journey like for her first time she did great we stayed for like an hour i was so surprised i was nervous the whole time i was kind of like sweating i'm not gonna even lie but she did good she um caught on to like swiping the card and um learning how to swipe the card to start the ride so it was great like um and it was in the morning so nobody was really here it's a weekday um so if you have a Chuck E. Cheese in your area, definitely go out. And they actually have something called Sensory Sundays. Um, it's not at all locations, but some locations have it where the lights are a little bit dimmer. It's not as many kids. Um, and it's friendly for autistic kids. So I'm happy about that. This location doesn't have it, but um, the guy told me today that um, they have Sensory Sundays. And also, he gave me a card that kind of like help you uh if you if you have a kid with disabilities it's a free call it's not free i don't know well he gave it to me for free but it's a car with limited minutes on it because they know how kids with disabilities can just have to like scope it out first and take time and all that stuff so that was cool too so yeah um i think it was a success i had to give her my phone so we could leave so kind of distracted her and we were able to leave did you have fun why is it not focusing on you did you have fun mila the disrespect with your shoes on my seat, girl. She got her tablet because I have to stop at Chick-fil-A and get me some food. I couldn't record a lot in there. There was a lot going on. And she kept wanting to ride the same toy. Um, but I was excited because you know how you swipe the, the car to basically start the ride? She learned that she caught on so fast. She was swiping the car by herself. Somebody was hungry afterwards. We're gonna go home and get you some real food, but the pouch will do for now. Back home, I'm about to make her some food and probably change my clothes. And yeah, so I am currently trying to, you know everything has to be blended for her, but I am trying to figure out. So I'm gonna do chickpeas, spinach, um, and add some heavy cream and blend it to get some fat in um, and chickpeas is also protein so that'll be great I'm trying to stay away from dairy sugar and it was one other oh gluten so she's going on a gluten-free diet and she's not really big on sugar anyway so it won't be that hard um, but I'm not like if she wants to try something with sugar fine I'm not opposed to it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook something small and change her clothes and let her eat and then yeah so stay tuned
Bye-bye. Okay. That, that, that just limits you. I like that. Night night guys, I'm about to take a nap. See you when I wake up. She's like, whatever. Anyways, about to take a nap with her favorite blankie. She keeps having, she's in a habit of bringing a toy with her to bed. And I'm trying to break the habit and she always sneaks one in. I don't understand. See, she brings the toy to sleep with her and now she gets up. No, it's night night. So now I'm about to have to be the bad guy, take the toy from her. Now she's crying because I told her to lay back down and this is how it goes. So I need some tips on what I can do. I mean, I know, take the toy from her, it's easy. But she always needs the toy in the bed for some reason. I don't know how. I got rid of one toy, she found another. Her light up toy. This is like an hour later. Yeah. She's controlling the light. I think you should go to sleep. always sleep when the baby sleeps sleep when the baby sleeps sleep when baby sleeps <sighs> and I'm up washing clothes so I'm gonna sleep for me I know Mila will be up soon even though it took her a while to go to sleep we have occupational therapy in the morning so that will be another adventure but yeah no sleeping when baby sleeps oh y'all the day starts all over again hi Mila Say hi, good morning, I'm up guys. Time to run around again for another eight hours, huh? Time to run around for another eight hours. Mwah. We love you guys. Literally have to keep these stocked. This is like Mila's go-to and it's on her level so she can come over here and get it herself since she is completely nonverbal. So she'll come over here whenever she gets hungry at night or in the morning and she'll come and choose one like she's thinking of which one she wants right now yeah still thinking still contemplating this is like a real choice for her guys did you figure out which one you want hmm? which one do you want She's still thinking. This is the funny part. She was really thinking. <laughs> so, I gotta keep these restocked for you. Mm. You don't know. Try to hide her favorite ones at the bottom so she won't see them. Like, all the way at the bottom is set up here. So, yeah. Because if not, she'll eat all the fav her favorites first. Still deciding two hours later. <laughs> Yeah, she found the bottom. Her favorites. This is her favorite. Ding ding ding. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Say hey vlog. Hey vlog. <laughs> We're just doing some free play. Not cleaning up. Not doing nothing. Just chillaxing. I don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> you want to see yourself? So 
excited. Okay, Kaylee. Attention. That's ridiculous. My child, it costs that much money. Ready? You gotta sit. You gotta put your legs right. Oh. Set. Go. 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 Go, Mila. Go. Bella, help her out, Bella. Grab her hand. Say go. Five years old. Come on, go. Good job. Yay. Thank you, Bella. Bella's going to the potty, Mila. That was it? You gotta go to the pot pot, too. Just a little update on ABA therapy. Everything is pretty much going well. She had our evaluation the other day, so we went to the center. I was super nervous. She went straight in. The center is a really intimate and small setting um, with lots of therapists around. Um, so she told me that Mila should start off. She recommends 35 hours a week. Her occupational therapist kind of told me that 40 hours was a bit much. So tomorrow when we go to occupational therapy, I'll ask her how she feels about 35 hours. Um, Mila has never been away from me. She has been at summer camp and it was for about a week and then she got sick. And this was around COVID, so we took her out of summer camp. But I feel pretty nervous about putting her in, throwing her into ABA therapy um, for that amount of hours. I was wondering if we could have did nine to one, um, five days a week starting off, and then increase it over time. I also wanted her to be able to stay in occupational therapy. And with that hours that the ABA therapist recommended, it wasn't going to be enough time to fit in occupational therapy. Um, so we are basically on the last thing we have to do is a scheduling. So I wrote the lady back asking her, could we do nine and one Monday through Friday starting off? Mila does still take a nap and she's very in tune with her nap time and all that stuff. So I just wanted everything to make sense. I didn't want to force nothing on Mila, just throw her in like that. Um, I wanted everything to make sense. I get it. ABA therapists need their money. They need their hours or whatever the case may be, but I, I wanted to start slow. Anyways, um... Yeah, so as you can see, Mila loves being around her cousin. Um, she is there. She likes being around kids. So it doesn't bother her to be around kids, which I love. She watches them. She looks at them. She wants to see what they're doing. Every now and then she might be a little standoffish, but she is paying attention to them. And that's what I like the most. She likes to just be there and around. Um, her, my niece is pretty much... Um, I'm sorry, the dog is under my bed. I don't know why. My niece is pretty much used to Mila every now and then. She's like, Mimi won't play with me or Mila won't do this. And we explain it to her. But Mila is very interested and she's so excited to be around other kids. Um, so just being in their presence makes her happy. Um, so yeah, I think over time it will get better once our communication gets better and all that great stuff. But I do like to have around kids as much as possible. Anyways, I don't want to fuck you guys' heads off. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I try to do something different in each vlog and show you just a little bit of our life. Honestly, I'm about to give Mila her tablet. I'm super tired and I, this is like a wind down time and in the evenings, sometimes I do give her a tablet. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!